Hi there! Today we're going to be making some delicious and healthy apple chips. These are a great and inexpensive way to satisfy those cravings for crispy, unhealthy snacks such as potato chips without all the added fat and grease. So let's get started. First you'll need some apples. The larger the better. I have 4 medium sized apples. You'll also need a mandolin slicer or a knife, a mandolin guard if you have one, some coconut sugar or a natural sugar substitute, and lastly some ground cinnamon. You will also need a large container to slice your apples into. To bake your apple chips, I found it best to just use your oven racks, line that with some aluminum foil, and then top that with some parchment paper to prevent sticking. If you have a food dehydrator, it's best to use that to preserve the nutritional values of the apples. Otherwise, you can just set your oven to the lowest temperature, which is about 170 degrees in most ovens. To slice your apples, take your mandolin guard and fit it snugly on top of an apple until it fits nice and securely. Then go ahead and use that to cut your apple into thin, uniform slices that look something like this. Don't worry about the seeds as they will naturally work themselves out through this process. Then continue slicing the rest of your apples. If you have any broken pieces, it's okay because they'll still turn out delicious. In a small bowl, add 1 teaspoon of ground cinnamon and half a teaspoon of ground coconut sugar and stir those together until they're evenly combined. You'll then want to take this mixture and sprinkle it over your apple slices and rub them together until they're evenly distributed and they look something like this. Next, position your apples on top of your lined baking rack in a single layer trying not to overlap any of the apples. This will ensure that your apples are cooked evenly and they get crispy. Continue filling up your other oven racks with the remaining apple slices and place them into the oven. Be careful because many ovens do not distribute heat evenly and you may have hot spots that might cause some parts to cook faster than others. If this is the case, you will want to place your oven racks in the coolest part of the oven to prevent your chips from burning. I bake my apple chips for about 4 hours, turning them over halfway through. But since ovens may vary, you should adjust your cooking time based on how crispy you want your chips. To test for crispiness, take a couple apple chips out of the oven when you think they're close to being done, let them cool, and then try them. Otherwise, they could seem soft if they're still warm. So here is our final product. These apple chips are absolutely delicious. I like to store them in gallon-sized Ziploc bags, which is equivalent to about 2-3 to three apples. It isn't uncommon for us to finish an entire bag in one day at my house. It's a great way to satisfy those crunchy cravings without any of the guilt. We sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. This is one of our favorite snacks and we hope you'll give it a try also. If you do, we would love to see your creation. Tag us on social media at MeFirstLiving or hashtag MeFirstLiving. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. For more information, visit us at www.MeFirstLiving.com or find us on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you'll join us next time.